Hey guys, so it's Harry Styles Tether and this is gonna be my three week postpartum guys, update and breastfeeding. Guys, mom yeah. said I couldn't put any direct direction. What? Uh, what is it? Again? Decorations. Yeah. You did do some decorations for me. Thank you. Uh, I can't see it in the video. Uh, well, like this? You can just sit up here. Yeah, let me try. I, I guess I can see it. Okay. Okay, is this the book we're reading for bedtime? Yep. Okay. Get ready for bed. I'm just going to do my update real quick because um, I didn't want to get this three weeks to get away from me. I wanted to get to this before we do our, before we do our one month update on both of us, and I'll probably start doing our updates together after this one. Not much more probably will be going on like as far as with me, and I can talk about the breastfeeding stuff in her video. But there's not a whole lot to say really. I just kind of want to show you all my incision and show you kind of how the progression of it as far as it getting better and talk about breastfeeding a little bit and how that's going. Um, and my incision is getting a little, on one side, it um, was bleeding Mama. a little bit and the pus was coming out a little bit and it really, really scared me, it made me nervous. And I called the doctor and said, everything is fine, calm, be calm, like everything will be okay, it's normal. It happens a lot, they said, with the glue. When I took the glue off, um, that's when it started. Um, and so, and then I don't know if like my shorts or pants was kind of, irritating it a little bit, so I've been trying to be more careful about Mama, that. Mama, I, I want a closer and look of the baby. Well, you can get a little bit closer, yeah. I just want a closer look, but there's okay. the baby, guys. Yes. And you can leave it a little bit closer so you're not too... They said just put peroxide on it, Neosporin, keep it um, really dry for the most part, and then putting Neosporin on it too will help, and just try to get it to scab over. Um, they seem to think everything was okay. I go to my six weeks here in a little bit, so we'll see. Um, they may see me or get me in earlier, but they said as long as I didn't have like a fever or chills or that it was getting really red or just getting worse, then everything should be okay. But anyways, I'll show you guys and see what you guys think. So hopefully everything will be okay. I feel like I keep looking at stuff online and it's like driving me crazy and making me so like nervous about it and stuff. But I'm just gonna share this with you because hey, somebody out there may be going through this and see that their incision is doing the same thing and maybe this will help you maybe it won't maybe it'll i don't know if it, you guys think what you guys think about it and if you've had this before that'll definitely help me out if you let me know below um i may need to lay her down i don't know if she's gonna stay asleep so i do want to show you that so i may go ahead and show you that now and then i'll come back and finish my video okay guys i hope you can see me okay so this yeah, is what i'm gonna yeah, i'm gonna do my video okay after i finish up this can okay Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all my um, belly progress, which is not good right now. I feel like I've probably gotten even bigger since last time, um, or stayed about the same, and like what my incision is looking like, and also this is kind of where I'm at right now. Let me see if I can get my shirt. This is kind of what I'm looking like right now. I feel like I try to, I have to like try to suck in now to feel like my belly's going down, but I don't know, it's probably about the same, or just, it's probably gonna take a while for me to get back this time after three kiddos, three girlies. So it's just still a little flabby. I really need to get back to working out at the gym. I'll feel a lot better about myself then. So, um, yep, and then here's the incision. It's really dark in here. I feel like you can't really see right now because it's like later in the day. That's kind of what's, that's what I'm like kind of worried about right there on this side. Everything else, else looks good, except for when you get over here. Yeah, so there was like a little bump right there. So I don't know if it just kind of like it it got irritated or something. It just started bleeding a little bit, and then like pus started coming out, and I was like, no. So I freaked out and called the doctor, but then they assured me that everything was okay and that was normal, especially with glue. So I was trying to get all that glue off and make it better, but they said just keep it clean and all. So so yeah, I just want to share my story, but then I kind of don't even want to talk about it, but. Um, but hopefully, next time it might be a little disgusting for kids. So <laughs> don't let kids learn right. mama saying this. Okay, guys, so it might take a little minute, okay? Take longer, so, like, guys, well, let me show you. Something. Well, guys, I might not do my billy yo today. It's really late. I don't know if you guys can see me. Okay, as far as breastfeeding, I'll show you this top. I've got quite a few, they're kind of roughly like this. And then it, so then when you lift it up, 
there's like a you know here you do that so um and then i just wear a clip like this and then this is my favorite bra i don't know what it's called but it's from target um so it gives me a little bit of support and it just clips down right here but i keep this on i just switch that back and forth whenever i need to switch you know from boob to boob but um it's going really good i'm so excited i really hope i can do this for a long time and i have tried to pump a little bit and got about two ounces out of each side so i'm thinking that she is eating probably maybe three ounces because i think when they eat that they get a little bit more out and she's probably eating about three ounces about every three or four hours something like that um, and i'm still using my milk saver which is awesome it's the thing that you put on your boob whichever side they're not eating on and it catches the milk so that you can have it for next time so that's awesome um and i only pump for like maybe 10 minutes because i didn't want to since she's eating so often i didn't want to like empty them too much before she's ready to eat again so i tried to not pump like out too too much so i think that was about right so she probably is eating about three ish ounces i think it's much more to as far as me i'm feeling a lot better it's crazy that at three weeks how you can feel so much better and so much more um, back to yourself. I thought the first couple of days were so hard. The first week was really tough and then I felt after that like I was getting back to myself. So I think maybe another month or so maybe when I get to my six week checkup that everything will be a-okay and lots better by then. That's probably when I'll update you guys again once I get to my six week checkup and make sure everything is okay and all that and I'll probably update you guys stuff like as far as my how my incision went and everything when I went and got it checked out the doctors in the daily vlog so if you want to go back and look at daily vlog videos probably sooner update than my next update if you want to find out how that goes as far as like trying to get back to working out I'm feeling a lot better with that i'm like so so ready to get back to the gym you guys have no idea i'm so used to going to the gym at least two to three times a week and i'm sorry just to get back in there and get this belly back worked out and flatter and feeling a lot better because i've been eating i've been trying to still eat so healthy as far as with breastfeeding but i feel like i've let myself go with like dessert stuff because I didn't have any desserts through my pregnancy since I had the gestational diabetes. And so I feel like that I've been why, really trying to... Mama, I have a good question you could ask. Okay. Why couldn't you eat it? Eat sugar? Because when I had the gestational diabetes with... When I'm pregnant, you're not supposed to eat sugars. It makes your sugar level go up. It just makes... It's not healthy for the baby. So I have to watch out with sugars about, and like ice cream and stuff that I but eat. But how about you eat chocolate cake? Yep, I wasn't supposed to. So that's why now you, I want how about some more desserts and ate, stuff. Like a little like gum? Gum would have been okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to put this in my postpartum video so that you can see a little bit closer of my incision. Because I felt like in the video that I edit that you couldn't really see it. Like what was going on? I know, guys. Guys, Camry. What? Camry is here. But I'm gonna okay. show you Camry. If you wanna see that clip, go to the vlog <laughs> because you want me I'll to tie her. Here, but I don't know. I'm gonna tell the daughter. I'm trying to get in earlier because uh, I still have a little bit until my next appointment. So I just want to get it checked out because I'm worried about it. But I'm just gonna show you guys what it's looking. Like. So there, you can see a little bit better like this piece right here on the end so what's bothering me so yeah that started first it was trying to take the glue off on that end it was all all the glue was coming off fine until that end piece and then when i took it off it was bleeding a little bit and i didn't think anything of it i was like oh just a little bit of blood's gonna be okay i let it go and then a few days later it was like starting to get worse and then I was like, oh no. So I called the doctor. They said that's totally fine. Normally, the, they said that happens um, with glue when you're trying to take it off. Sometimes on the end, there's like a knot. And then she just wrapped that on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay, that would heal. Just wait, put wait, like wait, peroxide on it and Neosporin yes. and alternate those and it'll get better. But to me, it look, keeps looking like it's getting worse. So I don't know. I probably already uh, was saying all this in the, well, in the update video, but um, hopefully I'm going to get a doctor soon and I can update you guys and 
Um, I don't know, maybe you guys out there have had this happen. Or maybe this will help anybody else out there if this does happen. And so, it's just, and I feel great. I'm healing fine. It's just that that happened on that side. And like, it's just aggravating because I now have to keep trying to take care of it. And I just want to make sure it's not like getting worse. Back to the update now. Hey okay, guys, so I'm going to go now. I think that's pretty much all I was going to say for me as but far as like eat, feeling better. If we and eat it like every single day, or we'll like a little bit, or we'll get up. Yeah. A lot high. Yeah. So if you guys have any more questions, let me know below. If anything else I missed, let me know if you want to know anything else I, more like I just in detail. asked about gum I, because I have gum in my mouth. Yeah. And if you want to know anything else, let me know below. I can answer your comments or out. If it's something I need to kind of explain more so, then I'll let you know in my next update. So thanks guys so much. Subscribe, comment, like, and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> <Can't believe. laughs> Love you guys. See you later. Check out our daily vlogs. Love you guys. Fun. Bye. See you later. Bye.